Today what we're doing though is a different kind of show. Can I say show? Yeah, it's so, a show. But we're just in the kitchen. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I just started a YouTube channel mostly going to be about cooking stuff, um, but today, before I bore you with a bunch of the introductory things that you're just going to skip over anyways, I'm just going to go through this really fast. This is my husband, Scott. I'm Bethany. We've been doing a lot of different things in the kitchen in general just because we tend to cook a lot as it is, but we have been forced to get a little bit more creative in quarantine. What I thought would be kind of fun right now is if uh, Scott was to give me a suggestion of something to make that we just have to quarantine do it because that's the situation that we're in. Um, yeah, get creative. Yeah, so what will I be making for you today? Well, I think it'd be fun if we tried to do like a DIY sushi thing. Yeah. Okay. At least as close as we can get to sushi with just whatever we have around the house. We have a few things that might lend itself. We don't have any sushi grade fish. No, we don't. But we have fish. We have leftover fish from the other day. And we have some canned tuna. We do. And we ran into the seaweed right now? <laughs> from making ramen forever ago from like a couple of months That's ago. That's true. I think I think there's good. a way that we can make this work, but it'll be interesting. And I think the technical challenge might be with actually rolling it up because we have no sushi mat. So. And I've certainly never done that before, but. Have I ever done sushi? To you. Have I ever done sushi before? I don't think so. No. Sushi. My favorite is Las Vegas rolls. I don't want to go through the effort of trying to deep fry a sushi roll when I've never made a sushi roll before. That feels like a mistake. Future Bethany will thank me. We do not have salmon for sushi. So what do I have? Okay, I have some rice. I have some jasmine rice. I know that's not ideal for sushi, but it's it's quarantine, so we're just doing what we have. Rice wine vinegar for the sushi rice. This one's already pre-seasoned, so you don't have to worry about adding uh, sugar or salt or anything to it. If you were to ask me, do I know how to cook rice on this stove, I would tell you theoretically yes, but then also I would look it up on my phone just to make sure. If you were to ask me to make rice in an Instant Pot, I would know how to do that exactly without having to look it up. And is an Instant Pot just really a glorified rice maker? In my house, we say yes. The first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prep my rice for the sushi. I don't know how much sushi this is gonna make, but I'm uh, putting in a cup and a half of jasmine rice, a cup and a half of water. First thing that I usually do when I make rice in general is I just put like a little bit of olive oil in the Instant Pot. I don't know if it actually does anything, but it makes me feel better to know that oil is there because when I burn the rice at the end, I just feel a little bit more vindicated that I tried to avoid that situation. All right, so cup and a half, and I'm gonna add a cup and a half of water. And then a half. Great. Make sure it's on ceiling. Uh, and then manually just set it to eight minutes. Leave it alone, it'll do its thing. I have my rice cooked here. I'm gonna add a quarter cup of seasoned rice vinegar. That feels like a lot, and this is very stinky, so that could have been a grave mistake. It's a little wet too from just like being in the instant pot and cooking. Some of the moisture is still in here, so this is not sticky rice. I feel like if I let it sit, that might be the best plan of action right now because then I don't know, I'm just guessing. I'm getting no, here's what I really think. It's warm. There's some steam coming off of it still, so let's just let it kind of do its thing and maybe it'll dry out a little bit and then it'll be easier to use because this is just like, it's, it's not sticky rice. It's very wet. I wanna add cream cheese because that feels fancy. It feels like Vegas rolls. It feels like rich people sushi, which this is not. Let's see if we can be fooled. 
I'm gonna set up my iPhone as well so you guys can get a better view of it. I did read online that you could use parchment paper. I'm gonna give that a shot first and see how it goes. This is uh, going to make as my makeshift uh, bamboo thing. I don't know what it's called. The bamboo thing that you roll up sushi into. I'm just gonna go like that. I'm actually gonna put that off to the side right now and try to cut up some of the other ingredients so that I can just layer them into the sushi. Welcome to the fun segment on my show called, Is the Avocado Perfect? It feels a little mushy, so I'm not positive, but we'll find out. <laughs> uh, so I chose to get it out today. Aha, leftover tilapia. Beautiful. I'm now going to add the rice and hope for the best. I think you have to go all the way down. I've never done this before. It does feel stickier, so that's good. I think I'm gonna start layering it now. I kind of want to start with a green onion. Because it's long and it's easy. Now I'm adding our really old tilapia. That is probably delicious, still. And I also, for a little piece of resistance, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, I never took French, I took Spanish because I went to school in Phoenix, Arizona. I have a little bit of cream cheese in a Ziploc bag. I'm gonna just cut off the end and try to pipe it in because I think that'll be easier than anything else that I could try to add cream cheese. Okay guys, my first sushi roll. It's loud because it's parchment paper. Like, I made you. I think it looks like a sushi, sushi roll. Oh, it yeah. Almost warned the audience before then. I'm like, Scott's too nice, so anything that he says isn't gonna work. But I'm critical AF. Can I taste it? Yeah. It doesn't look bad. It looks like it's hard to eat though. <laughs> the seaweed's a little chewy. Hmm. Interesting because the rub of the chicken is like mm -hmm. not. It's more like Mexican almost inspired than sushi. Yeah. But with the avocado and the rice, it kind of works together. I want to see if I dip that in some soy sauce. Do it. I think I would get sushi vibes. Do it. Let's try I it. Think, I Let's think you did it. pretty dang good. Hell yeah. Honestly though, when you cut it in the middle, no, it looks, it looks good. kind of pretty. Okay, so we're trying it again this time with soy sauce. We don't have any ginger slices or any, uh, what's the thing that I never use? Wasabi. Wasabi. Which is we... what I put in it. What do you think? I think it's really good. The profile of the rice, the avocado, the cream cheese, in the soy sauce, was 100% sushi. I think it worked. I think I made sushi. I think you did. I don't think um, a Japanese sushi artist would give me a handshake. No, but I think But that... I think they'd say, American. This is a valiant attempt with the tools that you had. I think it's not bad for a white person leftover sushi. <laughs> <laughs> the rub does take away a little bit from the sushi. Yes, doesn't kill it. I think it does take away a little bit from the sushi flavor, mm -hmm. but I also think that the sushi flavor is raw fish, which we do not have. You know, it's not a bad alternative. Yeah, and I'm-, I'm Especially if you need a sushi fix and you're in quarantine. Like, it's, this was very easy. This was very simple. I'm impressed that all of those things, even without the actual raw fish, that this gets me close to like when I order like conveyor belt sushi, I'm getting like 75% of those flavors right here. Yeah. So. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. It's the first one that I made so far. Well, I'll definitely have some more coming out to you guys. Have some serious ideas. Have a lot of time on our hands because of quarantine. Make sure to like, subscribe, ring the bell. I don't know, what do people usually say at the end of this? Bye guys.
Don't warm up. Oh my gosh, you're splattering on me. <laughs> That's what she said. 